so topic for today is going to be singly linked list so what do we mean by singly linked list as the name suggests the link between the list nodes would be singular in nature that means if we have two nodes here this link here would be single and unidirectional because here we have a next pointer so we can only grow in this direction in the link list we have a head pointer here and the list will continue to grow on this side and in the end we will have a data element whose next pointer will be null so between these two nodes we have a linked list which is singly linked now let's look at some basic or necessary operations we have already looked at what a singly linked list node looks like so it is list link list node and then we have something like a data type whatever data you want to have and then the data element here and then we have a link list node next pointer here so let's look at the basic operations as we had discussed in the earlier slide so insert or add um, is obviously the basic operation so add is generally to the end and insert would be generally somewhere in the middle or beginning or end second would be deletion so deletion also happens to cater to all three use cases we could have a head pointer delete or a in between node or the end node deletion third is search or traversal of the list now the traversal is simply trail of next pointers so one has to follow the trail of next pointers to reach this last from the beginning then we have count or size that basically depicts the number of elements 1 2 and then k or n whatever is the size of this List. In today's lecture, we will cover singly linked list. Primarily, we will see the different operations and how they have to be performed. So, uh, let's begin with the first that is insert. Now, insert can be add at beginning 
or a head in the middle or a pen or add at end let's look at the first one that is insert at head position Now, if we have a linked list, so on and so forth, and it terminates at null. Now, in this case, what we have is one head pointer, and then we have these data elements d0, d1, d2, and so forth. Okay. And uh, now, what our requirement suggests is that we have a node here right so we have a data d i that is the data to be inserted now this data will be first created to a node so that means it will be put inside a linked list node and then we'll have a pointer here right so once we have achieved this then what we need to do so right now the linked list is represented by this head pointer pointing to d0 but inserting at head position means the linked list's head pointer should point to di. So what we have to do first is that we have to point. So this is our this is our final state. So instead, before we do this, first what we need to do is to connect connect this node connect this node to our existing linked list. And the way to do that would be to append the whole linked list to the next pointer here. So the existing head becomes the next pointer of di, right? And head becomes the di element. So it's a two step process. Let me recap. First is that we have to append the link list to the new head pointer to be. So at this point of time, our head pointer is still D0 and not DI. So D0 is head. Right? So DI starts pointing to D0, that is the head. So this is the first part. And then second part is our head is updated to di oh, it is there so then our new linked list looks like di d0 d1 so on and so forth right now let's look at inserting at the middle so one d inserting at middle Inserting at middle means we have a linked list and somebody asks us, we have a linked list to data A, B, C and D and somebody asks us uh, to say uh, insert between B and C a new element K or somebody may ask us that at position 3 put K. So there are different ways to ask us. So, or somebody may ask that uh, put k uh, in, in sorted way. So now in sorted way means that there could be further elements down this where we could have j and then n. So k lies between j and n because we don't have m or other some other variables here. So this is going to be the place where the Node will lie. So let's see how how we can do this. So if we look closely, so if we are given a problem to insert at this place, that means I have 
a next pointer here and a next pointer here and I have a data node here and an next pointer here. Now the way to do this would be to break this connection so that will be our first step and then to re-establish new connections so this will be our second step and then third will be to point this. So one is to relink predecessor to new node. Second is link new node to predecessor old successor. Right. Now this will require this will require us to have a temp variable because we need to make a note of what this element was. This is our third. So one and two get covered here only. So now what we have to understand is to reach this middle portion, to reach this middle portion, we have to traverse the link list. So while insertion at the beginning is order of one because it's the head of the link list, right? So you need to always have a constant propagation delay here. But to insert at the rate middle of middle or somewhere middle, then the average case sort of becomes order of n because then it sort of depends on how many links you carry in your link list. So as many links that you carry, so as you move ahead, the traversal is O of n. So it becomes the time complexity of the operation becomes order of n. In terms of space complexity, it is O of 1 because we need the temporary variable here, the one that we were referring to earlier. So we have looked at insertion at beginning and insertion at middle. Now let's look at insertion at n. So I have a link list and we know that the last node of the link list points to null, right? Right. So if I have a new data, so all that I need to do is point its next pointer to null and update the next pointer here to point to this. So I have to add dk address to the next pointer here and this null connection would be replaced by this and then this will carry the null termination of the linked list. So it is just like relinking but the successor here is null. So in the last case there was a valid successor, in this case there is a null successor. So that's the difference between the two. Again, because it's over, uh, it's at the end of the linked list, the time complexity for this will be O of n. And space complexity would be O of n. So let's now look at another topic. which is deletion of nodes. Right. So right now we look at the concept of deletion of a single node. Right. So it can again be at begin, middle or end. So consider the linked list Let's understand all three operations, right? 
So if I have, so I have a head pointer here, right? A head pointer here and a head pointer here, right? So in the first case, the requirement is to purge this data. So that means if I have to purge this data, that means the whole representation of, so if I remove this node from the linked list, the head becomes dangling. So in this case, it's a two step process. One is to first update the head in a temp variable so we can use this temp variable to delete or free the node second is to actually free or delete the mem allocated memory There is one more part to it, and then update the head to the next or current head on the temp that we were stored. Right? So head is equal to head next, something like this, right? So and then we go about read the temp node, right? So in this, what we are basically doing is. The head moves to this and then we go about purging this data now so this was in the begin right so now we see what happens in the middle middle means consider that there is this node and i have to purge this so first there will be a traversal to find the node so to find the node i have to look through all the nodes be given i say i could be given that i have to delete the node with a particular data or I have to delete the nth or kth node, right? So in any form it can be given. So once I have located, so once I have located this, like located the data, then I need additional bookkeeping because see this is singly linked list. So now I need to connect this guy directly to this guy. These two connections have to go away. Right, so during traversal, I have to keep my current pointer and my previous pointer. So as soon as my current becomes the required, right, so there will be a previous pointer that will be such that previous next is equal to is equal to current, right? At that point of time, there is a two-step process again so I store the temp variable with current dot next right and then I update the previous with previous dot next its value temp v right and then I go about deleting temp variable here right sorry not the temp the current um, sorry and then I go about deleting the current right now if you are at the end and this becomes interesting again if you are at the end and you need to delete this now you know that this is null terminated now this becomes a special case of this now in this case our temp is basically null right because our current dot next is null it's null right so in that case i will update this to be the current dot next null and then so first step is this and then second is to free this node so that's how deletion of single node happens now you could also get a request someday to um, delete multiple nodes but that's the case that we might look at later let's go further So 
next topic we have is to delete the whole list. Now this is simple. You have a linked list. So we have seen how to traverse a linked list. Right? So you start at head and you hop one after node after the other and the other till you reach a point where the next pointer points to null. So here what you have to do is so instead of say calling a function to display or to increment or to do any other operation on these data what we can do is whenever we reach a node say we have started here so this is the head right so we store we store the next element that we need to go to and we basically start deleting or freeing the current one so it's again a two-step process we first go keep our next destination right so we have reached a node and now I'm going to delete this node so once this is deleted before I delete this I need to make sure where I have to hop right so once I have deleted this I cannot access the next pointer here and right? so before I delete this it is important that I know where to hop next to. so first I will book keep the location of this and then I will delete and then hop to this one so this becomes a simple while loop where I can say that my next PTR is null not null pointer I will go to next PTR is equal to current dot next and free current and current is next PTR right in the next if my next PTR is not null I will do this do this do this okay okay so we have looked at uh, the major operations for linked list today insertion deletion and deleting the whole linked list in the next lecture we will look at something called a doubly linked list so doubly means that there are two links between node 0 and node 1 so how these links are established and how they are helpful we'll look in the next lecture